What a great day this is, and welcome to Mount Carmel Bluffs. The sound of the cast iron bronze bell that I hoped some of you heard was purchased by the BVM sisters in 1856. Since then, the bell has been in continuous use, at one time calling farm workers to dinner, children to class, and sisters to prayer. Today, the bell has called all of us here to gather and celebrate our much anticipated dedication celebration. The Sisters of Charity first purchased this land in 1889, building a convent that would become the largest in North America. In 2018, the congregation partnered with Presbyterian Homes and Services to construct a new senior living with the sole purpose to enrich the lives and touch the hearts of older adults. Through continued growth and campus expansion, today we can serve residents in independent and assisted living, memory, and long-term care environments. We praise you for this day when two communities celebrate the gift of a common ministry, Mount Carmel Bluffs. Founded by Mary Frances Clark in 1833 in Philadelphia, the Sisters of Charity of the Blessed Virgin Mary has served Dubuque since 1843. As we find ourselves aging past our active years, we desire to live out our years together here at Mount Carmel, noting that others often visit this spot to view the river, have wedding photos taken, and admire the natural beauty of the land and creatures, we asked, might there be a way to welcome others to live here too? To do that, we needed assistance. After much study and many conversations, a partnership with Presbyterian Homes and Services was established. We are grateful for the yes from PHS, whose mission aligns so well with our own congregational values. We BVM sisters look forward to living the mission of Mount Carmel Bluffs Senior Living Community with all who join us in this sacred space. The sisters' uh, mission statement is that we are women who have been touched by God's steadfast love. In response to that love, we are moved to commit ourselves to a vowed life of faithfulness to the Lord, faithfulness to one another in community, faithfulness to God's people, especially the poor, and the covenant relationship is one that frees us to risk responding to the pressing needs of our time and our communities according to our gifts. So that's a, a powerful mission. And uh, the Presbyterian Homes mission uh, is to honor God, first and foremost always, to honor God by enriching the lives and touching the hearts of older adults. And the touching the hearts is a big deal to us as an organization because uh, as people age and they look at conditions and face eternity, they a lot of times have questions about the spiritual side. We want to be there to embrace conversations about those, and I know the sisters do too, and so in all of those areas, we found really great congruence. So at Mount Carmel Bluffs, we look forward to future gatherings in this great space. Worship and prayer in the Mary Frances Clark Chapel, education and entertainment in the theater, energizing classes in the Wellness Center, sharing meals in the dining rooms, games and gatherings in the club room, relaxing outdoors on the patios and decks, joining together in celebrations and laughter and in remembrances. It's no longer a concept, a deal, a project, a development, or a building. It's now this incredible community. The women religious of our community have changed our world. I know they have changed mine. For the city of Dubuque, Mount Carmel Bluffs fills a critical need for senior housing and care. The presence and the service of the Sisters of Charity of the Blessed Virgin Mary has been transformative to our city and to our people. The undercurrent of advocacy provided by these women religious has touched people and projects everywhere that you look in Dubuque. We are so blessed that Presbyterian Homes and Services has joined our community in this important way. This space and this legacy that will provide community and care for not only our women religious and a critical care need for citizens for our city for decades to come. Holy God and Divine Architect, as we gather to bless this beautiful space, we are reminded that we co-create with you. 
Each brick is your strength in us, each window your light that shines through us. We give thanks for all the hands and hearts, the gifts and skills which built this place. We give thanks for the many blessings you bestowed upon us throughout the history of Mount Carmel. We remember your life-giving love and healing presence within the walls of the old infirmary, Marion Hall, and Caritas Center. And we recall all who lived in these spaces of help and healing. May your Holy Spirit flow through and fill this home with your love. May the residents experience your presence here in loving community, in joy and happiness, in comfort and peace. May the blessing of our Lord God be upon this place and upon who live and work here forever and ever. Amen.